Hello traders, my name is Dominic Scott and I would like to welcome you to our day 2 online education course. For regulatory reasons, I first have to mention that this presentation is for educational purposes only and should not be considered as trading advice. In the last lesson we talked about the financial markets and today I will show you how to start trading. Today's presentation will cover the following topics. First of all, the basics of trading then how to open a demo account for practicing purposes, how to install the trading platform and everything you need to know about the MT4 platform from placing a trade to closing one etc. It might be useful to pause the video sometimes in between so that you can also take the same steps and not fall behind and later on forget about them. First we will need to learn some of the so-called trading vocabulary as this will help you understand trading better. So let's start with pip and pipette. What is it? Well, it is a unit of measurement in order to express a change of value between two currencies. If Euro USD moves from 1.0620 to 1.0621, that is basically a one pip rise in value. Pipette, however, is a fraction of a pip. One pip equals 10 pipettes. Moving on to lot. Lot is a unit to measure a position size. One standard lot is 100,000 units. So, for example, Euro USD at an exchange rate of 1.0620 times uh, 1 pip divided by the value times 100,000 means that one lot uh, value for one pip is $10. Of course different instruments will have different pip value per lot however this you can later on test on your demo account. Moving on to leverage so in order to explain leverage uh, let me just uh, tell you this example uh, let's say you want to open a trade size of $100,000 but you only have $500 available. With us, no problem because we offer leverage of 1 to 1000. This will allow you to open this trade with a required initial margin of only $200. So what leverage does is it allows you to open bigger trades with much smaller required margin so you can start trading with a small amount. So what is margin? It is trading with borrowed capital. This is how you're actually able to open $50,000 position value with as little as only twenty-five or $1,000. It is also known as the amount needed to open a trade. So what is bid and ask? The bid is the price at which the market is prepared to buy a specific instrument, while the ask is the price at which the market is prepared to sell a specific instrument at the market. Then what is spread? Well, it is the difference between the bid and ask price. It is also known as the transaction cost which is charged by the broker to open a trade. Moving on to stop out, a stop out is a compulsory closing of customers open positions by M trading in the event that the customer's account does not satisfy M trading's margin requirement. The rollover rate also referred to as swap or interest rate is simply the cost of carry that is applied to your account on a day-to-day -day basis. It is the difference between the interest rates of the two currencies which a trader either earns or pays when a position is kept open overnight. Slippage occurs when the market gaps over prices or because available liquidity at a given price has been exhausted. Market gaps normally occur during fast moving markets when a price can jump several pips without trading at prices in between. Now that you understand better what does trading with a broker really mean, let's check out how you can calculate profits or losses. So let's say you purchase one lot of Euro 
dollar at the price of 1.118. Two weeks later, you change it back into US dollars at the exchange rate of 1.25. So, as you can see from the calculation, you could have made $7,000 of profit. However, you do not have to worry about calculating the profit yourself as MT4 platform takes care of it and shows all the time the running profit or loss of your trades. Alright, so you now understand how you can make profits, but you're probably still wondering when and how can you trade. Well, the Forex market is open pretty much 24 hours a day. It opens on Sunday at 10 p.m. GMT and closes on Friday at 10 p.m. GMT. CFD trading is slightly different, however. They have both opening and closing times on a daily basis. However, all of the trading times can be found on a contract specifics page. I know that you are very eager to start trading with real money right away. However, it is always best to first open a demo account and get used to the trading environment and the platform. You can practice your strategies risk-free, it also doesn't cost you anything, and at the same time you learn how to use the platform and are less likely to make any mistakes when trading with real money. Of course trading with real money can be psychologically different, but you can still do that after trying it out with a demo account, thus creating confidence in your trading. For this reason I will quickly show you how you can actually open a demo account with us. First, you will need to go to our homepage and then click on sign up. This will give you access to your personal traders room. Traders room is where you can open both demo and live accounts as well as make deposits and withdrawal requests. Once you go on the page which was shown before and click on sign up, you will then have to fill in all the information requested. After that, you will have to verify your email address and you will receive your trading account login details. You will also need to install the MT4 platform. This is your trading platform where you will be placing trades. So again, go to your, the homepage and click on MetaTrader 4 as shown on the image. Then all you have to do is write in your email and click download now. This will start the download process. If you don't have a Windows computer and instead are using a Mac computer, just click on the download now icon right under the area where it shows MT4 for Mac. Once the downloading is finished, just click on install. You will ask then for your permission to make some changes. All you have to do is click yes. Then agree to the terms and click next then the platform will open itself uh, you will then just have to choose the M trading demo and click next tick the box for existing trade account and fill in the details which you were given when you opened your demo account and click finish all right now that you have learned how to open a demo account and install the trading platform i'm going to show you how to set up the platform for the very first time as it can look rather confusing and not very easy to understand at first. When you open the MT4 platform for the very first time it is going to look something like this. If you're not logged in yet you can do so from file, go to login to trade account. Here you just have to use your trader's account number and trader's password. Make sure you do not use the investor password as it is only read only mode and does not let you open any trades. Then just click login. Now let's make the charts look the way we like. First let's make the chart bigger which you can do by clicking to this icon here and maximize it. Now in order to make it look the way we want just click on the chart, right click on the chart go to properties. From here you can choose the different color schemes. I personally like black and white as it is easy for my eyes to see. 
then you can go to the common tab and play around with additional settings I'm just gonna show you how I like to see the chart however you can play around with the settings yourself and see what fits you the best so I personally use chart shift chart auto scroll I always look at candlesticks I don't have this on I use the ask line which I will talk about later on I use the period separators and remove the grid as it can make the chart look pretty messy now just click on OK and there you go we have a nice clean chart in order to save time I'm going to show you how to use the templates and make other charts look the same way with just a few clicks so here we have the exact same chart we set up previously but now in order to use this kind of templates for other charts we will first have to save it in order to save a template let's go to this template icon click on save template and just name it for example clean white chart now let's go to another chart and load the same template you can switch between different charts over here at the bottom so let's go to this one now in order to load the template just click on the same icon but this time go to load template and you will find the one we created just over here clean white chart click once on it and press open and here we have now the same template on this chart you can do the same for the other charts you will even find it here just click on it and it will quickly change all the other charts as well now that we know how quick and simple it is to change the way the chart looks let me show you how you can add new charts for different instruments in order to open a new chart with a different instrument all you have to do is click on this plus sign and choose the instrument that you would like to open for example let's open this Australian dollar US dollar pair here we go and we can also load the same template we created before this way we see the chart now exactly the same way however there can also be instruments that you want to trade but you cannot find them over here you can activate them from the market watch here is the market watch window if you don't have it showing at the moment you can open it or close it from this icon over here if you want to activate all the instruments available at M Trading, just right click on the window and select show all this will enable all the available instruments however what I would recommend is after adding the instruments that you would like to trade for example this one here I would then recommend to go back to the market watch and select hide all why do I recommend it well it is because if you have all the instruments activated it will slow down your trading platform because it will keep on trying to get the feed for all the available instruments while if you hide the ones that you don't use it will speed up your platform and only get the feed for the instruments that you're interested of trading next step is knowing how to switch between different time frames it is very simple but let me show you anyway so here we have all the different time frames that you can use with MT4 platform you can go from daily to weekly to one hour 15 minutes 5 minutes you can also zoom in and zoom out different traders have different trading strategies and some require adding indicators if you want to add an indicator to your chart this is how you can do it in order to add it just click on this plus icon 
and it will show you all the available indicators that come automatically with MT4 platform. You will find the ones for trend, for oscillators, volumes, etc. And here are all the custom ones. If you have another custom indicator that you would like to add to the platform, you can do it by going to File, then select Open Data Folder, go to MQL4, then go to Indicators. In order to add the indicator, just copy and paste it and add it to this folder, and afterwards close it. After restarting the MT4 platform, you will find it here under the custom indicators. Alright, so we have all the charts open, we also know how to add indicators, so now let me show you how you can actually open and close trades. Opening and closing trades is very simple. One way is by clicking on this new order icon. Here you can choose the lot size, you could also set up stop loss as well as take profit and then just click either to sell by market or buy the market. This is how it's done. If you want to then close the trade, just double click here. You can uh, then either, for example, close half of the trade, close it, or if you want to close the whole trade, just double click again, uh, do market execution, and close and there you go, the trade is closed. We also have the other option for opening and closing trades which is much more convenient. It uses one-click trading and makes opening trade much faster. So let me show you how to activate it and how to use it. In order to activate one-click trading, just go to Tools, go to Options, then go to this Trade tab and click One-click trading will then ask you to accept to the terms and conditions. Just tick the box and click OK and click OK again. So now when you want to open a trade just choose the lot size over here and click buy or sell and it automatically opens the trade. The other benefit of using one-click trading is that you can close the trade immediately by clicking here on the X sign and it's closed. The other benefit is, once you open the trade, you can set up take profit and stop loss by just pulling the line over here. This sets up take profit for buy and this sets up stop loss for sell. And there you go, very quick and simple and easy. This will conclude our second video. You should now be able to go to your demo accounts and start practicing. Next video will be covering actual trading strategies, so make sure you get comfortable with the trading platform. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email and we will get back to you as soon as possible. I would like to thank you for watching and hopefully you found it insightful.